Evangelist Rob here. Do we not realize who lives in us? Can we not perceive or discern or get the revelation in this thick skull of ours of who embodies us, who envelops us? The Christ lives in you guys. If you're born again, washed in the blood, come on, the greater one is in you. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Is there a match between God and the devil like you see these cage fights, these wrestling? I don't watch that stuff. It's irrelevant. But there, there's no match here, guys. This is not an even match. We're serving Jesus the Christ around here. We've got to get this revelation. When I read this scripture to you, Romans chapter 8 and verse 11, your mind's going to be blown. This is such a powerful portion of the word of God that if we can just, if you can just grasp this one scripture and realize the resurrection power is in you. Ephesians says it like this. We have the same mighty working power, the same power that raised Christ from the dead. He's going to quicken your mortal bodies. Yes, we go through challenges, tribulations, trials, despair, winter seasons, pruning seasons. But I'm telling you, Jesus is not only on you, the Holy Ghost, but he's in you, the Christ. Now, before I continue, it'd certainly be an honor. Please subscribe. Also, Mondays, I'm live 9 p.m. on YouTube. They're different than these six minute prophetic rants, these short little revs, revelations. These shows are power, and I'm bringing guests on, and of course, you can always put any prayer requests in the comment section. Now, if you want to realize who's in you, or you do realize it, put it in the comment section. Say, you know what, Rob? I have that revelation of the Christ that dwells in me. Here we go, guys. Romans chapter 8 and verse 11. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you. He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. One more time, but if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ, that resurrection power, that third day power, Guys, there's always a third day. There's always a third day. There's always a day where Lazarus is going to come forth. Things that seem dead, that lay dormant, they're going to come to life. Ha! Come on now. We're in spring here in New York, and in New York and Long Island, where everything's coming to life. The Song of Solomon says, Lo, the winter is past. The spring cometh forth. The turtle dove singeth. The turtle dove, ah, I've never seen, I don't even know what a turtle dove is, hallelujah. He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through Christ who dwells in you. John chapter 14, verse 16, Jesus said, I will pray the Father. He will give you another helper, the Holy Ghost, Paracletos, the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, the person. Oh my God, I'm going to pray in about a minute for the Holy Ghost to come right through this screen and blast you, huh? blast you, blast you, touch you, touch you in the name of Jesus. He will give you another helper that he may be, that he may abide with you forever. But you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you. Father, I'm praying right now, arrest, touch Holy Spirit. Fill people, total immersion, the glory of God, the power from heaven. Open their eyes, God. Guys, put your eyes on your hand. Put your hands, put your eyes. Put your hands on your eyes. Huh? In the name, Father, open our eyes. Ephesians says, the eyes of our heart being enlightened that we may know what is the hope of his glory. That we may have, that we may understand and perceive and discern. That manifest glory coming right through the screen, touching people, the Holy Spirit. Come on, if you need the Holy Ghost, raise your hands. Don't take your hands off the steering wheel. You're driving a car, but fill me, God. Say, fill me, Holy Ghost. Fill me more. I did a show, guys, about the who needs a fresh infilling. 
times of refreshing in the presence of the Lord, the book of Acts, the Lord's going to refresh, rejuvenate, refill you. Come on, come on, come on. Ha, catch this, ha, catch this. The impartation of the Lord is not taught. It's caught like fire. Paul says, I want to come and impart some gift to you. Paul told Timothy, stir up the gift, stir it up, arouse, awaken, that was given to you by the laying on of hands. Come on, I'm going to lay my hands on you in the name of Jesus. Receive power, glory, might, demonstration. The Lord bless you guys. Amen. Hallelujah.